Tom was in Spain. They were opening up a new Scientology church in Madrid. And he was overheard to complain that he needed a new girlfriend. Soon after that, a young Scientologist pre-med student named Nazanin Bonianti, she was told that she was going to get a special assignment. Number of transactions increased. Years later, Nazanin became a successful TV actress and would have a small part in a Paul Haggis film. But at the time, she was a dedicated young Scientologist who believed in the church's claims for its humanitarian mission. In fact, she set a monthly record for selling books for the church. Nazanin may not speak publicly about her experiences because of an NDA the church pressured her to sign, but I discovered details from FBI testimony regarding her ordeal. David Miscavige assigned Nazanin's case to a key church official, Greg Wilhear. He put her through a one-month program of on-camera interviews, intensive auditing, and security checks. She was moved in to the Celebrity Center, separated from her family, and certain problems were addressed during this period of time. One was she had a boyfriend. She is handed a transcript of his auditing session in which he admitted that he'd had an affair. And so she broke up with him. Then Will here took her to an orthodontist to have her braces removed. At Burberry and other stores in Beverly Hills, he bought her $20,000 worth of clothes. At the Celebrity Center, a man who worked for Cruz's hairstylist colored Nazanin's hair to Cruz's liking. Nazanin was told that her makeover was part of the church's humanitarian mission. She had to look her best for conferences with world leaders. Only after she was flown first class to New York did she discover the actual role that the church wanted her to play. She was to be the girlfriend of Scientology's biggest star. Within a month, Nazanin was living with Cruz. While at his house in Telluride, Miscavige came to visit. Overcome by a severe headache, Nazanin had a hard time understanding Miscavige, which infuriated him. The next day, Cruz, inches from her face, pounded his fist on the table and screamed at her for insulting the head of the church. Two weeks later, church henchman Tommy Davis delivered the news to Nazanin. The relationship with Cruz was over. And they, according to her, came to her apartment with their mom and found every photograph of the two of them together and took them away and every scrap, every letter, everything they, as if it never existed. And she was really upset because she had been really hurt by the whole thing. And she made the mistake of telling her friend who immediately went to tell someone in the church. She agreed to do punishments like cleaning out the public bathrooms on her hands and knees with a toothbrush. Well, other people she knew were sort of stepping over her. Did nothing wrong other than tell her friend that she was heartbroken. And this is the way she was treated? 